So this will be part 19 of our complete application in Spring Boot and we are going to actually write the gets all methods. More or less, we want to write a method that gets the list of all the countries and display it in a web page. So this is currently what we have. So how do we do this? Um, so the first thing we want to do, again, if you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And also if you are a beginner, please go to start from the first one because this is a continuous series. If you have any challenges whatsoever, feel free to leave me a comment and I'm going to try to help you uh, as much as I can. So the first thing we want to do is go to the service. I want to write a method in the service that actually fetches data from the repository. Remember the repository connects to the database and the service connects to the repository. So I'm going to write a method, a public method that returns a list of countries, a list of countries, and it's going to be get all. So it's going to be call it get all and it's going to return a country repository that find all. So country repository the find all is going to simply fetch all the countries that is available in that data store. So here we have four countries and we expect to have it returned. All right, so that's about the service. However, we told you that when a user enters a request in the browser, it comes to the controller. So in the controller, I want to write a method that returns the list of countries coming this time from the service. So I'm going to write the same methods. Uh, the same method is going to be list of countries, list of country. I'm going to I'll also give it the same name, get all. And this time it's going to return uh, country service dot get all. Okay. So we see how the service connects to the repository and the controller connects to the service. Okay. So hope this is clear. And now I think we are good to go. However, we need to specify in the controller file the request mapping. So here we want it to go to, if it goes to, you have to use that get mapping to specify that when it goes to slash countries, so if the user goes to type slash countries, it's going to return the list of all the countries. Okay. If the user goes to type slash countries, it's going to return a list of all the countries. And at this time, I'm going to run this application and let's see what we have. Now, I'm, I know that it's not going to work because a controller actually expects, expects to return a web page. And now we, are, we don't have any web page called countries. So if I actually go to slash countries now, if I go to slash countries, uh, we are going to have an error uh, thrown and if you go down here you can see it tells us the template does not exist okay now I've now written the template to display a table HTML table of countries so let's return this as a JSON a JSON object list of, of items so to return it as a JSON simply either change this to REST controller or but what I'm going to do is to simply add here uh, at response body and it's going to simply return a JSON for you because we are actually going to be using a controller. The reason is because we, are, we want to actually be returning a web page to display it on a web page uh, HTML table later on. And later on, we're going to be creating the list of countries table um, HTML page later. But for now, let's see how the JSON looks like. So I'm going to re restart this application now and let's see what we have. All right, so it starts up correctly and I'm going to come here and refresh the page and you can see that we have a list of country returned right here. So exactly all the countries we inserted is actually returned and you can see that list of states here, there are no states. You can see for each of the country, we've not added any states here. We only added countries, okay? So this is where I'm going to stop for now. In the next part, we are now going to write, create the HTML page to actually display this page in a table. And let me just uh, show you uh, what we expect to have. Uh, if I go back to my templates, all right, so if I go back to my template, we want to have a table displaying a list of countries, more or less like this table you see here. So that's what we want to achieve next. And if I go back to my dashboards, you can see that we have some really nice tables. You can see this one, 
and you can see another nice table right here. So we are going to display a list of country in a table that, com that will display a list of countries for us. So I'm going to stop here. Please subscribe to my channel if you uh, find this to be informative for you. If you have any challenges whatsoever, please leave me a comment in the comment box below. I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.